So pre-COVID, caravan manufacturers, or actually especially Bailey, they used to invite vloggers along to caravan launches. Bailey have just launched the Unicorn 5 V, and they did it on they did it online, much like Swift have. It's a virtual. Swift had a virtual show, so Bailey have. Um, had a virtual release of these caravans. However, a few vloggers have had access to the caravans. What I'm going to do, because um, I obviously haven't seen one of these Baileys in real life, however, I have owned a Bailey before, a Bailey 4, as you maybe know. So what I'll do, I'll look at this Bailey 5 using their website, much as I did with the Swift, if you saw that one, and give you my opinion. A few people have asked of my opinion. They have, <laughs> you know. <laughs> What's your opinion of this crown? I don't know, I haven't even looked at them. So I have had a brief look at them and I have formed some immediate opinions, which are always the best opinions. Your first kind of, yeah, which is kind of good, a good thing about the shows. You go into a caravan and look at it and straight away, you as a punter and me as a punter or me as a vlogger can straight away say, don't like that, don't like that. Now, going back to how Bailey used to do releases where you go along, have lunch, they blow smoke up your backside I don't know I've not been to one this is just me <laughs> being me um, you're not then necessarily going to go in and say what the you know let's have a look so this is Unicorn 5 we had the four um, cards hanging out exactly the same model so I can go through the differences that I think and what I think you know I'm not right you have your own opinion obviously I'm not trying to convince you to buy one or I'm not trying to convince you to buy anyone else's caravan I'm just telling you what I think of them okay here we go so the front immediately you'll see the front um, yeah, that's quite a difference, really, and that window goes down a lot deeper. I mean, there's no way now they're going back to a front locker, are they? Um, <laughs> so grab handles here look fairly accessible, not too low, but that, I mean, that is a big, oh, they call it the infinity window now. Um, I have views on this infinity, infinity, infinity window. I have views on this, which I'll come to in a sec. So there's the front that's still using a crappy old jockey wheel, 30 quid jockey wheel on a 31,000 pound caravan. Not really. Um, ATC, you kind of expect that. So there we go. I mean, you could argue minor changes. So straight away you'll see this infinity window. Now, it looks great, doesn't it? I mean, and it certainly would sell a caravan to a lot of people, I think, which is kind of why they why they have it um you know usually you've got the line across here with a you know as with swifts um personally i think this bezel whatever you call it around here is a bit too wide and distracts a bit from the big window there now the issue i've got with this big window is opening it it's very tricky to open uh, it's like it's a big window and it's tricky to hope open and the way bailey do their window openings is by um, a little screw there that you i mean with swift you open the window uh, you open the window to a certain bit and it clicks and stops and with bailey you have to open a window and then turn these things and with that big window uh, we always found it tricky so probably only opened it twice but you can obviously see, you know, you, you get a great view and people get a great view of you. <laughs> that's, that's pretty much. And I don't know what the blind configuration is there. Um, I mean, that's one big blind, isn't it? Um, all your pretty standard. Looks very much like the Unicorn 4 other than that. I mean, they've gone different with the wood. Um, I don't like the, these curtains here. I don't like these. I mean, they're not real curtains. They don't pull as curtains. So... You know, for me, it looks like they've got nets. Oh, so I don't know what's going on there with the curtains, but um, very strange. In my now, these front seats are really long on the Cartagena. That's something we did like about them. Little storage up there. Oh, DAB radio. That's always good. Bluetooth. Yeah. See, this is uh, well. I don't know. I mean, would you prefer the old car radio? <laughs> looks like from nineteen nineties or. Swift, something like Swift Command, where it's got the DAB radio built in. Now, the disadvantage of the Swift one is that you can't um, play music from your phone through that without a physical cable, I believe, which is pants. So, I mean, you know, that's a nice looking radio, I guess. Uh, little pockets here. We always like these pockets. You can put um, magazines and iPads and stuff like that. Um, now, I think when we get up here, one of the things that really annoyed us with the Bailey. You're not going to see it but there by the left of the 
chest there there was plugs and you know swift have got them up here for us we prefer that but i don't know if they've still got them there i can't see from this angle speakers built into this unit that's nice and quite big lights up there not a lot else to say about that really um right kitchen here we go so the problems for us with the cartagena kitchen still stand um microwave to the left to the right there we didn't like that we much prefer the microwave in the middle again all personal things i like the fact maybe that the outer heating thing is there rather than up by the door a couple of plug sockets and lights which is splashback i don't personally think swift do splashbacks better again personal thing now this bit juts out here because you know that they'd argue that they're making it into a little peninsula they're not what it is they've got the gas bottles in there because they don't have the front locker um this thing here i cook at this i mean it looks great and see see this is a thing with i think especially with bailey is it bailey now i think personally bailey go a bit um style over substance on a lot of stuff now when we go to the bathroom um i know what's coming so it's not bad but um so this bit here this bit of wood here it hooks up there and after about a month that that broke it's like a press stud so because when you open it it doesn't kind of stay open so you have to press stud it up and you know that kind of i think it looks great but it's not not an not an ideal solution come out a bit there see the wine rack you know okay uses that bit of space i suppose what i did like is that little bit of space there between the wall and the cooker because you can put pot handles on and round, go, go around there they don't have to um, and looking at that that looks absolutely massive but i know it isn't again plenty of cupboards and drawers interesting they put handles on the drawers bailey the uh, unicorn we had didn't i fitted i fitted them myself okay this is so this is where i this is where bailey have definitely been watching my vlogs right because they've changed a lot of stuff with this caravan stuff that i personally didn't like and i don't know that a lot of other people were moaning about it and one of the things was not having drawers not having handles here i'll go through the other things as we go through blow me on trumpet of course bailey are watching my vlogs where do you think they get their ideas from <laughs> where are we uh stable door okay so um, Bailey and Swift they are on a mission to just do the opposite to each other Swift won't have stable doors because Bailey do um, Bailey won't have the window here because Swift do um, there's a few other things as well that I'll, as we go along I'll tell so they're doing things just to be different to Swift and vice versa is true as well so there you go so I believe I read somewhere that is a a more secured locking door there maybe at the bottom there it's got something else good that they've now put a already comes with a tv um, bracket there now don't like this padding bit and i know it's been mentioned before i think this maybe this is lilac again it's a personal thing but what is good is that they put a plug socket and and aerial socket for tv up there so you don't have you know it makes perfect sense for it to be there light switches and a nice little cup all there yeah so that's a good it's a good thing i mean the control panels up there i haven't seen it but it's, it's, it lags behind swift although you know i've got a few things to say about command i mean i don't moan about everything but if you're not if you're going to do something do it right don't half do something so here's a fridge of 150 three liters which is a good size um yeah it's gone they've gone fridge and separate freezer whereas swift have a fridge with the freezer compartment in it or at least our Swift does. Transverse bed for us, absolute nightmare. I don't care what anybody says. Transverse bed now, but transverse bed does not work on a caravan that isn't eight foot, because when that, this is in day mode, look at the lovely day mode. Look at this room. When that comes out, that almost touches that wall. So, you know, it just no, it just doesn't. It does not work, and it that's that's borne out by if you look at Caravan Finder, uh, Auto Trade, anything like that. The, the most 
caravans that's for sale are the transfer transverse beds now you could argue that's because they've sold more and I argue it's because people buy them and they don't like the layout now you might love it again it's all, it's all personal stuff isn't it? so anyway there's a bed see they've gone with this lighter wood which is you know appeals to some not others who'd be a caravan designer <clears throat> so I'd like the way they've done these wardrobes where they kind of um, you know there's that bend there you can make the buff make the wardrobe bigger at the top uh, maybe they say make the bed bigger I'm not sure if it actually is could could be though I don't like that I don't like the look of, I don't generally like the look of that though although I do like that idea and they've got like cubby holes down here now our Swift doesn't have any USB connectors up here whereas Bailey does use them I think they reserve that for the elegance not the conqueror not the uh, challenger conqueror back to the 80s again that gap looks huge there I think it's deceptive I mean that consultina door I mean who wants a consultina door that's shocking and, I, and again I know why they do it because it leaves them space but you know if they had the door swinging at, make that gap a bit narrower and put a door on personal things again again this this thing here looks great but you do once that beds out you do lose a lot of room I mean the person sitting on the left is not going to the toilet maybe they supply some kind of catheter or something she we a cupboard there as well um again with our bailey we weren't keen on this door the way it slides well not the way it slides it's just it seemed to be hinged at the top and not the bottom so it kind of rattled around and if you're trying to quietly go to the toilet at night not a chance aha uh -huh. i told you to listen to me no fruit bowl sink I've heard that called a Belfast sink. That's just a sink. Right, Belfast sink is not that. Again, cut plenty of cupboard space. Big mirror there. Now, some, what we didn't like about our Bailey is that there was no, there was a roof like there, but none here. Again, there's none there this time. And wait for it. Oh, toilet. Yep. Yeah, and wait for it. I've heard a few people mention this. That's not frosted. Why isn't that frosted? Why isn't that a frosted window? Uh, yeah, Prima Leisure, straight on, straight on um, Prima Leisure, Bailey's um, accessory company. Straight on Twitter saying, were you on Facebook? Oh, you can buy this thing for £10. Like, just do it. Just have it frosted. Nobody, no other person on the planet has an, in your house, do you have unfrosted window in your toilet? No, you don't, because it's building regulations. You have to have it. Why isn't it any different for any caravan? Out of heating, great. A lot of cupboard space. Shower. That's the shower, really, isn't it? Fully lined, I guess. No mastic or anything, anyway. And that's pretty much the inside. Not a great deal of difference, I don't think, from the four. Obviously, a bit. It's a mod, a bit more modern. Um, let's have a little look at the outside, if we can, quickly or maybe slowly uh, what just one thing I wanted to show you oh my god what are they doing okay so what they have done is they've put all the services uh, um, not on the awning side so you've got the gas bottles um, electric plug electric plug is on that side as well no wait a minute I'm not sure that's right offside 200 in inlet for, oh that's the inlet so I thought it was a plug socket that's the inlet for I don't know what that is so it's pretty wide for a motor mover, gas bottles, alco wheel locks, good, toilet. Now, you know, that window there, that looks a bit odd, doesn't it? I mean, this, you know, the graphics are okay, I suppose, bronze, Cartagena, big window, smaller window, like the windows, not keen on that one, personally. Pretty wide for Wi-Fi, yeah, so you could, yeah, so you could get the dealer to put a, roof mounted Wi-Fi aerial but it is good that they've got the electric hookup on the far side who is a person to complain I know other people did and I'm only joking but I mean there's so it's the um, electric hookup oh, electric hookup 
fruit bowl sink and there was something else as well can't remember ah yes this is it the back remember do you remember my old i'll put a picture up of it somewhere here but my old um my old i mean my bailey F unicorn four that i used to always just say had truck lights at the back now they've gone a bit swift-esque haven't they a bit more a bit more of a i'd say modern truck <laughs> still not great but an improvement on the previous ones now look if you like this caravan right good luck to you and i hope you enjoy it but i'm only having a bit of a laugh about little tiny things that i don't like and um one thing i will say the disadvantage of having an island bed is access to the bed is you know lifting it up like a there's no external access to the um, bed storage which you have here on the container which is good now I'm hoping that's a plug socket there. Fridge vents, door. Oh, that's the electric cable. So that's the so that's the um three pin electric plug and T V connections for external power stuff. Gas barbecue point. Yeah, look I mean you know what they've done is they've they've um, come out with this front window which is a lot deeper than the previous one and you know it's a love or hate thing isn't it you'll either like it or you won't like it I, don't, I mean the, so the things that we ended up not liking about the Bailey are actually funnily enough the things that we did like when we looked at it so this is my style over substance joke you know um, front wind infinity window um, on the Unicorn 4 the uh, Fruit bowl sink that you can't actually absolutely can't use to wash in, or certainly not shave in. Um, thirty thousand six hundred ninety nine pounds. That's three and a half thousand pound more than our Challenger. Now, I don't think the Challenger is really a unicorn like by like, like for like. It's more with the elegance, I think, because the unicorn is a bit more up market. Now, by that I mean it's got a few things like USB ports and stuff like that. that um, on the Swift, the elegance would have, and that the Challenger doesn't have. So probably not like for like, but it's three and a half thousand pound more. What do you get for that three and a half thousand pound? Having owned one, I, you know, I mean, there are things like the USB points and maybe plug socket, maybe more. Not, but not even. That. I don't know. I can't really. So overall, I think it's well, stating the obvious, it's just a, a more modern Unicorn Four. Um, externally, they've done away with electric hookup point, which is definitely a well, they haven't done away with it, they put it on the other side, done away with it, wild camping only. Um, they've obviously improved the graphics, different interior, you know, different wood wood effect interior, changed the sink, microwave still on the right, not in the middle. That's pretty much it, I like it, I don't, I've never, I don't dislike the one we had, it's just the layout just didn't work for us with the transverse bed, which just obviously great in the day but but at night you just can't get over the over the bed if you want to go to the toilet it's you know if that doesn't bother you that that's good good for you that's it bailey unicorn four five <laughs> uh what do you think would you what would you prefer i mean do you like that big infinity window i don't think anyone's really going to dislike it i just don't think it's overly practical for, for opening anyway Again, personal personal thing. Hope you enjoyed it. Thumbs up if you did. Like and subscribe. Thumbs up, like and subscribe. Thumbs up if you liked it. Like and subscribe. No, oh, stop that. Thumbs up if you like it. And feel free to subscribe. Or not, up to you. I don't really mind. As long as people are viewing them. Anyway, that's it for this one. See you next one.